morning guys. Uh, I hopped in my uh, 90 D150 that was my great grandpa's this morning and we are headed to South Dakota for parts for a uh, certain tractor that I haven't showed you guys. Um, don't know why I haven't. I bought it back during planting season, um, towards the end of planting season. It was just so swamped. None of the stuff made YouTube. Um, bought it and a bunch of other machinery off a local estate. Um, I'm an older gentleman, and uh, it's a pretty cool tractor, fairly rare tractor, one of 73. Um, but we're going to hammer down here. I have uh, about 350 mile drive today to uh, South Dakota. I'm going to go uh, see a buddy. He's uh, tractor pulling today, and we're just going to mess around today and maybe do some work tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see what, we'll see what happens. But that's what I'm up to. And then uh, Tuesday morning, I'm probably going to get up and bounce down into Iowa, get the parts I need uh, for that tractor, and then um, go home. I think that's kind of the plan. But uh, stay tuned. We'll, we'll bring you along if anything interesting happens. And yes, I'm in a 34-year-old pickup. We're going 67, 68. Um, this, the whole drive up here, we're going to part of South Dakota, you can pretty much all do on two lane blacktop with no interest, interstate. So it doesn't really matter what I drive up here. Um, the part I'm getting is a little big, but it'll carry in a half ton pickup fine. Um, but I just have been wanting to take a road trip by myself in an old pickup and uh, not drag a trailer because pretty much 75% to of the time or more, uh, I leave home anymore I have a trailer on my pickup and the other 25% uh, of the time with my wife and kids or in combination of both so I rarely get to drive very far without a trailer or family along so and I wouldn't put, bring my kids along in a 34 year old pickup because that's not the safest decision when you have a two year old and a two month old but uh, we're hammering down uh, give me a fun drive I mean it's like five and a half hours here we're just gonna angle our way to the southeast corner of South Dakota from Northwest Kansas and enjoy it and kind of have a good time. Yeah, so we're driving my great grandpa's '89 Dodge. I got the air conditioning working. Really, all I've done to this truck is service it: transmission, motor, uh, coolant, uh, radiator hoses, new belts, and uh, I got the AC all charged up. It's still the R12 system, but I use an R12 equivalent called Duracool in it. So that's what we're doing here but we're gonna fill her off with gas and see how we're doing miles per gallon and uh, get some ice for the cooler and keep going we're about 70 miles in here absolutely nothing interesting to report um besides my speedometer is kind of in and out and so that cruise control is not really working very good but we've gone uh 237 miles uh got uh getting like 12 miles a gallon first fill i got 13 this fill i got 12. So, mm, not great, but it's, you know, a 318 motor and not, I mean, it, we run, at 70, we run like 2,750 RPM. So we're not exactly like being very efficient. But I got out and checked the oil there. Hadn't used any, belts looked good. Didn't feel all that warm up underneath the hood. AC still working good. So we're gonna keep rolling. Looks like we're about ready to go into some rain. So at least the windshield wipers work on this, right? Well, I, I hit a little rain here. It's, it's Nebraska, so it's corn and beans and trees. I mean, that's all there is to see. I This time of year, it's impossible to find cool tractors on the side of the road in Nebraska to look at because everything's grown up. But my speedometer is uh, now struggling, so eh, whatever. I've got a red line there marked on the tack. About 67, 68 mile an hour, so we're just going to roll off that. But uh, I got about an hour. 15 minutes left in driving. Well guys, I spent the last couple days at a friend's place in Beersford, South Dakota. We went to a tractor bowl. I might throw a few clips of that in here. It was a pretty good time. Uh,
went to the Lamar's Toy Store and uh, picked up a couple toys for myself. One's a 5488 front wheel assist that looks just like my big one at home. And uh, a couple little things for the kids, no big deal. Uh, ran down to Schleswig, Iowa, picked up uh, some John Deere parts. I don't know if you can see what that is back there, but we'll, we might show you here in a little bit. But uh, I'm probably about 600 miles into this trip. Cruise control's working again with speedometer, AC's blasting. I think it's somewhere around 100 degrees outside here, but it's nice in here, honestly. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep right on rolling. Next time I stop for gas, which will probably be somewhere here around Columbus, Nebraska. Uh, I'll get out and show you what's back there. And you can kind of throw up your guesses what it's for. Uh, it's pretty, pretty specific part overall. Uh, there's a radiator back there for a John Deere 4022. It's sitting in my shop. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll share and uh, we're going to keep right on rolling. This pickup is by no means a speed demon. I mean, we're going like 62, 63. It's just not geared for speed here. We're having a good time. I mean, really not in that big a hurry. Got good oil pressure, you know, rock, not running hot or anything down there. The AC is low and cold, so I, I really don't know what else you can ask for here just kind of keep on rolling i guess well i've made it back as far as Kearney, nebraska i had to stop here and look at adam marshall's lot kind of does an auction every couple weeks here online only so we're checking stuff out but i thought i'd talk about what's in the back here first and foremost that's a radiator for 4020 uh 4020 standard i got in the shop at home um it's got a bad drain on it mine does so yeah, not gonna work, but uh, this here, um, this is for a tractor I've had for a little bit since planting season. We talked about that a little bit earlier, but you guys still don't know the tractor. But looking at this will uh, give you a hint what it's for. It mostly has to do with the fact that there's not a bolt right there. So you tell me. Drop your guess in the comments. We'll be working on that one here real soon now that I have this. We'll probably get that tractor finished up fairly soon. But for now, I'm going to walk through this and then uh, we're going to take the Dodge the rest of the way home. We've gone about 700 miles. We got about 80 to go. So just working good. Cruise is still working again and AC is keeping it cool in there. So let's check this out. Well, I made it home about an hour and a half ago. Pretty good drive. I mean, fuel Dodge. Uh, did exactly what it was supposed to do. We put probably a little over 800 miles on it. Air conditioner worked, cruise control worked most of the time, had some issues when you'd hit bumps, it'd kick off, and then occasionally speedometer didn't work, which made the cruise control not work. But overall, successful trip. Um, pickup served great, honestly. I think the air conditioner might be a little froze up because it is still dripping out of the pickup, so it must be very cold. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna empty my stuff out of the pickup. We'll get to... Uh, what this axle is for in the new, near future obviously something john deere but uh yeah so that's it for this one guys um we got a video this will come out wednesday i should have a video friday on a will it run video of a john deere tractor as well separate john deere but stay tuned for that one it's a pretty pretty good one tractor that's been parked for the better part of 20 years i think and uh yeah so uh please like share subscribe i'm on all the social medias as team auntie ih so you guys have a good one go drag something out of the weeds and get it running